Good morning, Dexter. How you doing, sir? You well? Good morning, mate. I'm good, thank you very much. How's yourself? Good, good. Yeah, I'm blessed always, in always. I'm 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 here because we're I noticed the other day that you put up a, a post online talking about how the Moolah shop, uh, the Moolah, Moolah Cake Empire, the shop mm. that's been, you know, the pivotal point for it down in South London, down in Croydon, yeah. um, is going to, you're, you're going to shut it. And that's going to yeah. be the end, end of an era. I guess with all things moving online in the, in the last six, seven months of lockdown has proved that, you know, online works. And I've seen you tighten up your operation in that yeah. respect. So I guess there's no real need to have a base with all of the costs that come with that. But I also get the impression that you're transitioning into a new area of life, a new focus um, for yourself, which we spoke about a couple of years ago in the article for The Voice newspaper. But I don't want to put the words into your mouth. Talk to me. What does the next phase of Dexter's life look like? <laughs> well, to be open and honest, it, it's, it's a 50-50 split. Because um, from when we last spoke, and as I said, you know, coming from being a fashion designer, coming from being in the entertainment world, I actually now wanted to focus more on the community. Um, everyone speaks about giving back and trying to find ways in order to give back. But I found a way that I could change my retail shop into a community hub and then give others the opportunity to create their own podcast, their own clothing lines and business advice and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So um, I did go off into the mentorship, um, community leader kind of role. And I felt like I filled a little hole in the Croydon area and fulfilled a little bit of one of my passions, you know, which is to help people just see and believe. You know, one of the sayings that I, I, I go by is what I've heard from one of my good friends was everybody has um, sight because you have eyes, but not everybody has vision. And when I started to understand, you know, the meaning behind it is a lot of people can't see past today. And in today's society, today is the equivalent of yesterday. That's how fast we're moving. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... This next transition of my life with the closing of the Mueller Kick Hub, unfortunately, and I wouldn't say unfortunately because it's not due to loss of earnings and corona. It's not due to it not working. It's due to, again, me having foresight and having vision to see that we have been heading towards the online world for the last two to three years, but a lot of people can't see it. And once I started to realize that year is coming, I started preparing. But once Corona hit and, you know, lockdown happened, it, it forced a hand, but it forced a hand what was already dealt to me. You know what I mean? A lot of people was forced to work from home. A lot of people was forced to change their approach to life, business, situations, jobs, and, I felt that I was, um, what would you call it, lucky enough to have had these things prepared, i.e. the online radio. I've always known that I'm going to launch the online radio from the community hub, but I knew that I wasn't going to launch an FM radio because online is the way forward. You know what I mean? So then after that, um, seeing my one-to-one -one mentorship programs go online, it was great as well. And then lastly, um, we've now moved the Children's Holiday Club online. And, you know, where you might think at first, how are we going to interact with the kids? You know, we can't get to do certain things. In everything that's a negative, there's always a positive. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of children over the years wasn't able to attend the Mula Kid Kids Club um, because of the area. It was in Croydon. I'm a Lambeth boy plus the brand is global. So a lot of people wanted to approach, um, attend the Mula Cake Children's Holiday Club, but they couldn't. So now with it being online, lucky enough, we had children from Scotland. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, there is some positive towards stuff. Do you know what I mean? It keeps costs down. It gets a wider spread. And it is kind of convenient. It's a lot more convenient for people. Well, convenient for people in these current situations. So, yeah, the new transition, 
that's like 50% of it, you know, going down the whole positive, well, I've always kind of tried to be positive, but the whole mentoring, motivational speaking and one-to-one business advice, that's where I've gone. And that's the whole 50% of it, you know what I mean? But another 50% without going on, and we'll get into it a little bit more, is I've recently just um, signed a contract with Younger TV on Sky for um, a vlog that I started. I started a vlog, I don't know, about seven to eight weeks ago now. And I've named it A Day With Dex. And basically the reason why I um, started it was because the same way that I'm trying to be positive, I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to put, do businesses. I thought the one minute and two minutes and three minute Instagram clips, they're not giving people a proper insight to how much work is having to be done when it comes to making something happen. You know, we've, we've come into a time where people believe that posting is the promotion, posting is the target. You know what? Excuse me. Bless. Bless. Where's your Thank mask? You. Sprayed all over yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, we've come to a time where now people think that, you know, posting mm. is the business rather than what the business actually is. Do you know what I mean? So I thought, how about I just get a cameraman to follow me around, a paid cameraman that is, and I think I have to throw that out there just because I was producing a, a certain quality of vlog and it was a risk I was taking. Again, it's the same thing about being an entrepreneur and diving in the deep end. I'm not a vlogger and I know the vlogging game takes a lot of time. You know, it takes time to build on YouTube and on all these platforms. So I thought the first thing I'm going to do is invest in myself which is pay for a cameraman to film and edit and follow me around and get a good quality vlog. And then after six episodes, um, God bless, you know, I got approached by Yanga TV. So, you know, it, it kind of paid off in the end. And now I feel like I'm heading down the, what do you call it? The vlogger kind of <laughs> influencer role. You know what, so what I mean? What, what's, what's to be expected on this show with Yanga? What, what can we expect from that? What are you going to be doing? Okay, so a day with Dex is literally self-explanatory. It's literally spending a day with Dex, seeing behind the scenes of all the stuff that I do. So if I go over just a couple examples of what's on the vlog, you know, you've come behind the scenes on one of the Mueller Cake photo shoots. You've come behind the scenes on when I filmed, um, we were fortunate enough to film Paulette Wilson's funeral um, up in Wolverhampton. Um, so we got behind the scenes of that. You've got behind the scenes of when I meet and greet certain influencers, certain business people. Um, you've got behind the scenes of when I even do one-to-one -one mentoring, little bits of gems that I drop and, I, you know, I throw out little clips about it. So it's definitely an enjoyable watch. It's not something that's, um, what do we call it, always the same. It's not repetitive. Not one episode is anything near like the other episode. I mean... My second to last episode was me spending a whole day, a whole weekend in the hotel, you know, trying to celebrate the signing of the contract, but still made it interesting enough in the hotel to make it watchable. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. So there's lots of different stuff. What's the, what's the, have you got, a, so you talk about vision, but have you got a clear vision about where you want to be in another couple of years? Where you were a couple of years ago isn't where you are now. Yeah. Where do you want to be in another couple of years? If if the vision's clear, then share that with us because I can see you've outlined what the transitional stages are and what you're heading towards. But what does the goal look like? What do you want to achieve? Yeah, hmm. yeah it's a beautiful question because um, I actually was thinking of not even thinking. I'm going to be doing a couple podcasts, my actual self, um, and one of them is inside the brain of Dexter Sims. And the reason why I wanted to do this podcast is because I don't believe in luck. Nothing I've achieved throughout my life since I registered my first company when I was 21. I've, I haven't believed I've received any luck. I haven't really received any kind of handouts either. I have clear visions. I speak things into existence and I work my socks off to get there. So the vision to me is the cliche to be successful. What is success? 
what success is to me is about ownership. I've realized in life, if you don't own something, you can't control something. So everything that's getting told to us in the media, I, how can I say it? I, I can't buy into it because I don't believe in it in the first place. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, I, I, I believe in you can be anything you want. You know, barring, I don't say barring, but barring the prime minister, barring the rare, rare you know, just little things. But in life, you can be anything you want. And I strongly believe that. Whereas society has taught you that you have to be in a box and you have to be a robot and you have to be controlled. Do you know what I mean? And I've started to realise the more you own is the more leverage you have. It's about economic leverage. So my clear vision is to become someone who owns a couple of brands and leverages them off to launch other people's careers or dreams and, so, and, and goals. Do you know what I mean? Like, where I'm actually headed. So, I believe I want to go into films and that's not me being an actor. That's me either writing films, producing films. You know, I've been involved in a lot of films before. One of my films have reached into the BAFTAs and I've sponsored a few other films as well. But films, series, I want to build an online empire. Um, I want to leave, you know, the cliche, like you want to leave a legacy. It's not, like I was speaking to my son the other day and he was saying to me, so how do you think I'm going to take over all of this? And I said, this is the reason why you're around me now is because I don't want you to take over something that you're not interested in. If you can see all the different departments within Moolah Cake, because myself, I'm a personal brand. So Dexter Sims is a registered company. Dexter Sims is an online website. Dexter Sims is its own entity. But Moolah Cake is a company with a lot of different departments. So I've, as, as I said to my oldest son, I only want you to do what you enjoy. So if you don't want to be a fashion designer, don't get into the Mueller Kate clothing department. If you don't want to be doing music and entertainment, don't get involved in the radio. You know, whichever department suits you is what I'm trying to make available. That's, that's one of my bases. I'm trying to build platforms that people can relish from. Do you know what I mean? Kind of thrive from. So, yeah. My, my vision is quite big in terms of not stopping like I, I don't have I don't have a ceiling as much you know people might say I want to be rich people might say I just want to I want a four-bedroom house people might say you know I want a couple of businesses no nah. I want to do as much as I'm allowed to do as much as my body and my health would allow me to do in terms of being a role model of you can achieve what you put your mind to and that's one of my main goals been a tough year, Dexter. Um, you've seemed to re remain positive and push through regardless. Mm -hmm. um, but for those who don't have that that mental fortitude and you know don't have such a, a clear and concise view on where they're going, mm -hmm. you know what what kind of advice would you give them? Um, because I, I see on your you know your Instagram that's where I follow you the most that you're always kind of offering pearls of wisdom for people who might find themselves stuck in a rut or you know, just haven't got that motivation to get up and yeah. go do whatever their hearts desire. So what, what, what kind of gems maybe have you developed or yeah. taken on board to help you push forward? Yeah, it's, it's a good question because um, a lot of people's minds work different. And I've had to learn this over the years of managing people and doing collaborations. You know, the way my brain works fast, the way my brain works positive and uplifted, I might clash with someone because they're thinking, yo, whoa, I don't feel like that. No, so that I need it written down. And I think, all right, then cool. Then I'm realizing me being so positive actually sometimes has an effect on people who's in a stressful place. You know, they think, well, this guy is just positive. Like, how come he's got it all sussed out? So my advice to these kind of people is don't consume too much negative. Like, it's, this is kind of important for our mental state. The news, memes, 
broadcasts, people you speak to around, family arguments, like all of this mixed into one bowl causes mental stress. You need to, you know when they say think positive, I know it's not easy to just think positive. Well, put on a song that you like. That makes you feel happy. That is a start. Phone somebody who makes you smile. Follow people who, who give you that little spark in your brain of, in, of happiness. It might not be happiness as in I just feel happy. It might just be, they make, make you think like, oh, rah, I can. It's these kind of things you need to go out of your way to try and achieve. By that's following people and not following people, having positive conversations and not having positive conversations. You need to, you need to take control and check who you speak to, what you listen to, what you watch, and who you're around and what you're around. That's up to you, because the people that's inflicting negative, whether it's the the government and the news whether it's friends and family, whether it's social media, they're in control of their self. And this is what they're choosing to put out. If you're choosing to accept it, then the problem lies with you, I'm afraid. So you have to try, so my, so my advice is go out of your way to try and avoid those things. Go out your way, you know, unfollow people because who you follow comes up on your story. It's important that I think that's one of the to get out of this situation. It's about not seeing all the people are dying, corona, schools are closing, everyone's losing their jobs. Everyone, whoa, that will bring you that way. Like, how about the world's changing and there's crazy opportunities right now that normal people never usually had? There's some crazy opportunities right now that when I mean normal people, I'm talking about. Big film productions are not making lots of films and series. So people like Netflix and Amazon are now looking for up and coming film directors. Do you know what I mean? Like think of it in that positive light, you know? Lots of people didn't like the job that they was in, but they didn't know how to get out of it. Whether it's leaving, whether it's talking up, whether it's just looking for another thing. Now you've been forced Look at it as a good thing, you know? It's all about mindset and, it's, and it sounds easy coming from myself, but I feel like we've, we only have ourselves. That's the main thing you got to remember. You only have yourself. So you have to try more than ever, right? More than ever right now. Where can people find out or follow you? I find out about more about what you're doing or follow you just just on the record yeah yeah um so if you follow uh, my main page on instagram is mr dexter sims and my website is also www.dexter sims as well so if you just type dexter sims in google or you type mula cake in google you should definitely be able to find some form of contact with myself or with my organization i want to ask you this as well you um when we spoke Dexter, I'm putting it yeah. on you now, mate. But yeah, yeah. you said there was a book coming, son. Where's the book, brother? All right, brilliant. <laughs> Good, br brilliant question. I've literally written one and a half books. Right. No word of a lie. Okay, okay. With this transition, I've realised that the first book had to become an audio book. It right. doesn't okay. have to be, mm. but because, again, my mindset and foresight and knowing mm -hmm. people actually less pick up that physical book and read opposed to listening to an audio book or watching a podcast. So okay. I've had to transition the book idea. Okay. It's still it's, a book. Well, it's still a book. Yeah, it's still a book. It's still a book. It's exactly. A book. Just still giving it to you in a different format. So okay. I would say, yeah, and we're going to say it live on air now. Um, Definitely early next year is going to be the first release of the first audio book. And I say early, I mean in, within the first three months, God willing, 
this whole world doesn't act too much more crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the first quarter of 2021, we'll look forward to the uh, Dexter Sims audio book. I know yeah. that there's going to be um, some some real insight into how you are. Yeah. Why you are how you are. And I, yeah. and I, and I just think that perspective is going to is going to be what a lot of people need who follow you. You might not be able to fill in the gaps and yeah, they can't fathom why I do yeah, why yeah, where the, where the energy comes from. But obviously, we know. So I'm 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 looking forward to that. Um, yeah. And then, and everything else you're doing moving forward, Dexter. Keep you know staying positive. Like I said to you at the start of this conversation, mm. two years ago we had a interview. Your your story winning the voice done very well for us. A lot of people connected to it. Um, yeah. You're a well known person down in the, you know that part of South London. And I think a lot of people watch you, whether they applaud or not. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, so you're an influencer, sir. And uh, I want you to stay remaining a positive influence as much as you have been all the awards yeah. and all the accolades and, you know, all of the, the noise that goes on around your brand. So Chessie, yeah. you've been nothing else. So keep going, keep moving forward. And unless there's anything else you want to say? No, I mean, I think I've said most of the things I want to say as in, little plug, which is make sure you tune into Yanga TV on Sky 186 every Saturday at 3.30. And then my YouTube page every Monday at 8 o'clock. That's where you'll find the day with Dex. And in, within the day with Dex, you'll find out all the stuff I'm doing. Then you can follow me on the socials and find out how to connect with me. But um, other than that, I need everyone to dig within their self and try and remain positive in these crazy times because I think the more we think negative is the more we're driving ourselves down. So, you know, check up on your friend, check up on your family, stay positive.